Um, you know, I'm thinking, I don't know if maybe they sold the rights to it and it's just waiting to get distributed or something, but, um, so a lot of times it'll be like, you know, cut off. That's why I don't think you can watch it on the internet anymore and it's probably because of copyright, so. Hopefully something will come of it. I'll talk to them and see what happened. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> way in the back, so eager. You have to stand up and shout. Yo! What do you want me to say? <laughs> so there, that was. Oh, come on! <laughs> what? Come on! What's the weirdest thing anyone's ever asked you to sign? Asked us to sign. Um. Body parts. Body parts. Yeah. Uh, a shoe, a really stinky shoe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And a driver's license. <laughs> That's bad. I had a kid come up to me with a, a, a brand new shiny saxophone. <laughs> Put it on the table. I was like, you really, you really want me to sign this? It's like, yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, it's not mine. <laughs> Well, whose is it? My school's? <laughs> okay! <laughs> hey, you live and you learn. I, I had to uh, post on my uh, site to please stop whipping out your boobs. Um, <laughs> because uh, some of the fans tend to be like 13 and I'm 38. So, uh, oh. I, I need to not go signing things like. <laughs> is this your dad? <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. She's a good girl. <laughs> uh, car, body parts, uh, Nintendo Wii, <laughs> phone, uh, driver's license, you know, like, you know, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, I did it yesterday. You guys already heard do it. it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. You weren't here yesterday. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> to be a man, you must have honor, honor, and a penis. <laughs> Always wants to do it. <laughs> that day, all female officers must be required to wear tiny mini skirts. <laughs> Why is his head so big? Why is his head so big? Why is his head? Say the power of the cosmos and say it. <laughs> I won't say the power of the cosmos. <laughs> um, I had a little character once and they were, they were talking around and they were like, we need some men to go into this mission. And, and my character goes, some of us are men. <laughs> That's pretty fun to say. Some of us are men. I'm so glad I'm getting this on the <laughs> Fancy tuna. <laughs> Some about Oran. Right. Gentleman in the back, right there. You, yeah, yeah, that yeah. one. Gentleman. Uh, what was your first ever job? Not, not the first ever. First job ever. Just our, our first job? First paying job. I worked in the store of knowledge in the mall, which is like the nerd's toy store, you know? <laughs> and I, I got the job, I wanted the job because I was like, I need a job, and I was walking to the mall, and I saw that the people in there wore aprons, and I wanted to wear an apron. <laughs> so I applied. My first paying job ever <laughs> was working as a, a buffet attendant. <laughs> restaurant in like Richardson, Texas. 
and I had to wear a tuck shirt, a tie, and a cummerbund. <laughs> You no, know, and I had to, it was like a catering company slash banquet hall, and I had to refill people's lemonade and tea from the correct side, <laughs> and then clear their plates, and I would always steal chocolate shavings out of the freezer. Travis and food service, that's scary. I, I was an actual ditch digger. <laughs> for, uh, yeah, uh, well, I was, I was, uh, it was for my dad. He's like, my dad's an electrician. He's like, dig a ditch there, and I'll throw a pipe in it. And then stand afterwards, stand right here, so I don't hit you with the tractor. And then he hit me with the tractor. <laughs> so he, he paid me with food. <laughs> I, uh, does it matter if you actually went to the job, but you got the job, or does it, I, I didn't go? Yep. Okay, I, I got a job as a singing waiter for a uh, uh, macaroni grill. Oh, God. And it was a day of, I was already all dressed up, I was going, and I was like, I got to the parking lot and I went, nope, I can't do this. <laughs> That's awesome. It, uh, it takes six months. It's a six months long song. <laughs> and, uh, I can sing a portion. It goes doom 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 Do we ever go look at something, something, something fan art? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 here's... I was at, at my parents' house and they were showing me the, my website with my videos. And um, they, they, my dad starts clicking on things of me and finds some fan art on like deviant art. <laughs> that was like me being molested by one of my characters or something and like it was totally inappropriate and he like pulls up the picture and I'm like oh god that's my dad who was looking at it, it was horrible so yes I have seen do you have that picture <laughs> sorry yeah I've seen I've seen that artwork it usually comes through the autograph line <laughs> And it's so innocent on the cover, and then you open the first page, you're like, Dah! <laughs> I'm about being short. Oh. Probably Mustang with some of the tentacles and another man. Oh! 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 Um, what, uh, my friend uh, Jonan Vasquez, the creator of Invader Zim, uh, got into a conversation with an, uh, the character designer for the show, um, and then he put that conversation online and had a contest uh, to see who could draw what they were talking about. And what they were talking about was the idea that I got drunk on ham every night, <laughs> and that I was some kind of ham demon that would, that would haul in pigs uh, from a pit and would feed these pigs into a, a fiery pit in my belly. And he got something like 200 pictures back from the internet, so there's all these, if you type into ham demon uh, now, you can get these wonderful illustrations of me as a gigantic bloated thing uh, with ham burning in my belly. Uh, oh my good. god, that's me. Wow. Someone even made me a statue. That was, that was nice. That's me. Yeah, I mean, I, you find the, the yaoi art. And... <laughs> find Hakai and Gojo doing something. <laughs> so, yeah. My mom actually came across one of those too. Was, so she was like, is this what you do? <laughs> oh. Was that your most embarrassing moment trying to explain to your, one of your parents what you actually do? Um, it's kind of, my parents don't get it. They just like, they don't, they don't really understand. They know I go somewhere and then I come back with some DVDs and that's it. That's, 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 